name's Trey Giesick and I'm a postdoctoral fellow here in Tom Wynn's lab in the Laboratory of Parasitic Diseases. Most people aren't familiar with the term fibrosis, but you can really think of it as scarring. It's just a wound healing response that is dysregulated, so it goes above and beyond what's needed to repair the tissue. Within the liver, fibrosis can be caused by a wide variety of things, ranging from hepatitis C virus to chronic alcohol abuse or even a, a fatty diet. In this study, we induced fibrosis in mice using a parasitic infection uh, called Schistosoma mansoni, actually a human pathogen as well. It affects about 200 to 300 million people, mostly in sub-Saharan Africa, and about 5 to 10 percent of those individuals will go on to develop liver fibrosis. Previously, we knew that a protein called interleukin-13 um, caused fibrosis within this parasitic infection. When someone has fibrosis and they present in the clinic, they usually have a wide variety of symptoms, and oftentimes a clinician will try to address each of these symptoms separately. But what we found in this paper is that interleukin-13 is causing each of these symptoms together. And so rather than treating them separately, we can just target interleukin-13 and eliminate all of these together. Well, we're really excited with this paper because it lends support that these treatments might actually be very efficacious um, in a wide variety of diseases. 